Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to be talking about CFO or people that are buying land or selling property in Benin. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the place you're watching me from or the country that you are. My name is Elizabeth Anistal. I'm the CEO of Visit Edo Limited. Today, I'm going to be talking to those people that have CFO or they're about to buy land or property in Benin. Like we know, Benin is an ancient city. Edo State as a whole is a very special place. And if you're buying a land or you're doing anything, with the system laid now, it's good to verify, really verify very well before you put your money into any property so that you don't have uh, problems. Uh, many years ago, people used to buy things secretly, property, they don't want their family member to know, or they don't even want anybody to know. Uh, my advice to those people, this is not the time for buying something secretly because it's not going to help. Uh, when you buy secretly, by the time the problems comes out, uh, it will not be done secretly. It will be done in the open because you have to shout out, you have to call somebody's name, you have to talk to a lawyer, you have to look for help. So it's better for you to do it in the open when buying property, get people to check the property, get someone to check the registration. Everything has been a little bit simple now, the way the government has done it. Uh, many years ago, when we bought a land in the knee, it was a little bit different then. Uh, we all remember the CEO of all process was not as easy as it is now. It was a very difficult process, process that people, a lot of people use thousands, millions to even secure a land to get CFO. Uh, I remember when I was trying to register a CFO then, it was like really, really crazy. We paid here, we paid this, after the everything, then it was like the office is closed down. Now we are no longer working. Now there is now a new place that you need to do it. All the money spent on the other first place was just gone and nobody was able to give any account. No government was able to say, okay, uh, these people that have registered before, let, uh, this is how we do it. It was not. So we had to start kind of afresh again and wish that is not really nice. We kind of start the whole process and start the payments and start to register. Anyway, we are much happy with the new process now because it's cheaper. It's even cheaper to verify. So there's no reason why somebody should be saying now that I bought a land that is this, that, because you can verify everything. So it's good that people should want to buy something. Go and verify. Go to the office, verify who is the owner of the, uh, this land. Try to even get in contact. Now you can almost get every, anybody you want to talk to online. You can send a message. You can find somebody that knows the person and said, your property is for sale. I'm interested in this property. Are you sell? You can go to a file, you can go far to find out all the information regarding that property instead of falling into something that will be something else later. So for my, uh, my own advice is to people that are buying property in Benin or in Edo State, try and verify. The government has laid a lot of ways. There are so places to get information these days to check with the owner of the land, uh, the, the, the land, the road, just like the mistake that we did also when we bought that land. Then it was, we didn't really know anything about checking that land, where it is, and all those things like that. So after a while, we now find out that Part of the land that was sold for us was even supposed to be road due to the map, the drawings of the government. So that means that the land that we bought, half, some part of it was road, and, but it was sold to us as land. So when the government letter came and said, no, this part of it is road, so we have to leave that part of that land, which was a very big land, and we have to leave that part for them because that has already been marked as road. So in case you're buying something, try and go to these offices, these government offices, check out those things. Because when you buy a land that's supposed to be road, or the middle of that your land, there's supposed to be road that is already on the plan, or the government planning that there's a road in this middle place, this place here, and somebody now sell that land to you in full, you should know that that land is going to be divided into two. You cannot do anything about it, and the road is going to be placed there. So you're going to have half land there, half land on the other side, which is not uh, nice. So when you are buying a land, those are just the things that you need to check out for. Uh, the, with the, the owner, the history behind that land, just get information as much as possible. And also check the drawings of the land. If it's in the planning of the government that there's going to be a road or something nearby is coming. So you just find out that information not to fall in trouble. So for those people having a CFO, I'm just going to inform you that you can call me, you can uh, send somebody to the government office, you can do all that. Try to see how much you're owing because CFO is not free. 
when you're giving, it's just like that everywhere in the world. You pay for, there's a lot of expenses that comes with house when you have a property. Uh, we that live in Europe or different uh, people that live in the US or any place, they know that there are a payment that comes that you have to pay to the government housing pay there's a lot of things that comes that you're supposed to pay so in nigeria you having a cfo is almost the same thing so there are money you pay every year for the government for issuing the cfo for you for you to have the cfo there's something you pay to the government every year according to what you have registered if you've registered a commercial place or if you've registered the uh, uh, um farm or you've registered that uh, place in a different uh, form. So there is something that you have to pay. So if you have a CFO and you haven't checked how much you're supposed to pay, send me a message. You're supposed to do that or send somebody there to check that, oh, I have a CFO, but I don't really know how much I'm owing the government. Maybe you have had that CFO for years, and now might be the time to think about paying this money so that you're not owing the government any money related to that issue of CFO. So it's a yearly payment that there's a fixed amount that you might pay, and every year, the pen, it might go up, you know, things do change. So if you have a CFO and you haven't paid anything within these years, please give me a call so that we can help you to check it. We can see how much you are owing the government because those things are supposed to be paid. So this is supposed to be a very short video. If you have CFO, you're thinking of buying a land, you have plans and you want us to help you check it out, just send me a message. I'll drop my number there, send me a message or call me on WhatsApp and tell me what you want us to do. Our office is at number 39 South Bombay Road. In case you have family or friends, you're free to take them to our gallery and souvenir boutique and our eatery where you can relax and have a nice time thank you for watching this video please help us share videos please 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 just share our videos support us by sharing you're supporting us also thank you very much and see you some other time thank you my name is elizabeth bye for now